Hey, what's up guys? Joe Gass here. Today with my review of the iPhone 4 telephoto lens by Photo Jojo. Um, so what it is, is pretty much a lens like this. This is the lens here, and it attaches, it screws on to the back of your iPhone, and it allows you to zoom in um, eight times to take pictures from a long distance without pixelation, because as you know, the iPhone has digital zoom. So this is going to allow you to have a way m much more variety with your photos. Um, you could pick it up for $35 on, on the Photo Jojo store. I'll have the link in the description. And with shipping, it comes to 40 So it's for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3. It says 3 on their site. Now, I'm guessing that's for the 3G and 3GS, but I'm not 100% sure. It probably is. But so, yeah. So what it comes with is this case here. Um, it's a pretty simple case. It's actually not too bad. It has a nice texture to it. And it has this screw-like thing that the um, lens actually screws onto. So that's pretty cool. Comes with a cleaning cloth, used to clean the lens, I guess. And a tripod, which is really nice. And you're getting all this for around 40 bucks, so it's a fantastic deal. It's a really nice quality tripod, metal, pretty much the same quality as mine. And, um... Here's the little clip that attaches to your iPhone 4 to put it on the um, tripod. And then there's this little carrying case. Obviously not going to fit the tripod, but to carry your lens around with you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I have my iPhone here. I'm just going to snap the case on. It's that easy to install. Very simple. And then pretty much there's a screw on this side. Uh, it's pretty hard to get, but... There you go. You just screw it in like that until it can't go anymore. And that's pretty much how you install it. As for the tripod, you pretty much just get it on the side like this, pull, and then it kind of wraps around. And then you just screw it right on the tripod. And this is pretty much how it looks. I mean, as you could see, that does look pretty badass in my opinion. And also, what I really like about this company, I know this is kind of out of the topic, but they have a lot of personality. If you go on their site, the way they spell their words, it's, in, it's friendly. And not a lot of companies have that these days. They try to be really professional, but this, it's like you're talking to a person and not a robot. They even included a plastic dinosaur when I bought it. Like, I wanted to mess around with the dinosaur, and I totally forgot that what I ordered was the lens. So it's fun. It's nice. I definitely get some more things from these people again. All right, so that's pretty much how it works. Now I'm going to show you a demo. All right. So what I'm going to do is just open up Camera Plus here, which is probably my favorite photo app. And as you can see, I am now zooming in on the box. As you, there's a box right in front of me of the telephoto lens, and it's kind of blurry. Now, there's a grip on the side, and you just turn it. When you turn it to the um, left, it's used to um, focus on objects closer to you. But to the right, it's to focus on objects far away. If I turn this to the left here, you're going to notice you can then see the box a lot clearer. It's also better if you do it from a distance rather than really close because this is a telephoto lens. And there you go, if you focused on it and you just turn it to unfocus. See when I originally bought this, I thought that it was actually going to zoom but it has a set zoom of eight times and then this thing just focuses it. Which, either way, it's still fun to play around with. So that's pretty much the telephoto lens, guys. I mean, I think it's a great product. Probably the best 40 bucks I spent in a while, to be honest. And I, if you're into photography and you have an iPhone, then I would definitely check this out. So what I'm gonna do now is show a slideshow of some pictures I took with this. And I hope you enjoy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.